According to the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 17, For it is testified, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Kaya ang ordinasyon sa pagkapari, tulad ng binyag, ay nag-iwan ng indelible spiritual characters sa isang naodinahan, which means a mark or an identity that will never be taken away or erased. Ang pari ay pari magpakailanman. If we are to interpret Canon 290, it means once the sacrament of ordination is received validly, it never gets invalid. Although the Church teaches also, ayon sa Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1583, that it is true that someone validly ordained can, for grave reasons, be discharged from the obligations and functions linked to ordination, or can be forbidden to exercise them. But he cannot become a layman again in the strict sense because the character imprinted by ordination is forever. The vocation and mission received on the day of his ordination marked him permanently. Ibig sabihin, kahit na natibalik sa layman state ang pari, outwardly ay hindi na siya nagpo-function bilang pari sa mata ng mga tao dahil sa pinatawag na loss of clerical state, Ngunit sa kaibuturan ng kanyang pagkatao ay pari siya magpakailanman. However, according to Canon 293, a cleric who loses the clerical state cannot be enrolled among clerics again except through a rescript of the apostolic see. Sa madaling sabi, ito ay basalimukot na usapin at proseso. Ngunit posible. At habang ito ay hindi nagaganap, nananatiling hindi maaaring mag-function ang isang lay-sized priest bilang pari at tumanggap ng anumang sporta, pinansyal na naayon sa isang pari galing sa diocese or sa religious order. Hanggang nananatili siya sa istanyo ito. If the backstory of the priest who was lay-sized, however, was given as a punishment, it is certainly a far cry to be readmitted to active ministry. If you have any other questions for me, you may send them anonymously by clicking the link on this post. Thank you.